Hello everyone. Today we'll see class 10th syllabus of mathematics of the year 2022 and 23 and deleted topics. So the whole picture of this subject will be clear in front of your eyes. Let us see it. Here I have made three columns. First, name of the lesson. Second, exercises to be learned. And third one, deleted topics. First lesson, real numbers. Exercise 1.2, which has prime factorization, LCM and HCF. Exercise 1.3, which has proofs of irrationality of root 2, root 3 and root 5. These two exercises we need to learn. And exercise 1.1, which has Euclid's division lemma, is deleted. And exercise 1.4, which has decimal expansion of rational numbers, is deleted. Right? Here. Come to the second lesson now. Polynomials. Here, exercise 2.1, which has 0 or zeros of a polynomial. And exercise 2.2, relationship between zeros and coefficients of a polynomial. These two exercises we need to do. Exercise 2.3, division algorithm of polynomials is deleted. Here, third lesson, pair of linear equations in two variables. Exercise 3.1 in this represent the situation algebraically and graphically is given. This we need to do. Exercise 3.2 it has algebraic conditions for number of solutions, consistency or inconsistency and graphical method. Exercise 3.3 here the substitution method is used. Exercise 3.4 substitution and elimination method is used. And in exercise 3.5, except question number 1, 2 and 4, right? So, we need to leave these questions and we can use any other method to solve the sums which are there in exercise 3.5. Now, see here, first exercise, second exercise, third exercise, fourth and fifth, all the exercises are there. We need to do them. But the last exercise, which is 3.6, is deleted. It is about equations reducible to a pair of linear equations in two variables and the most important cross multiplication method is deleted okay come to the next lesson here quadratic equations exercise 4.1 depends on quadratic equations whether it is a quadratic equation or not it's the questions are like this in the second exercise solution of a quadratic equation by factorization method and in the third exercise, solution of a quadratic equation by quadratic formula. So, these three exercises are there. And exercise 4.3, question number 1. It is about completing the square method. So, completing the square method is fully deleted from the portion. So, first question we are not going to do. But that first question, for that one we can apply the other methods to solve. Or to get the solution right come to the next lesson here arithmetic progression the first exercise is about arithmetic progressions here you need to find out the first term the common difference whether it is arithmetic progression or not these type of questions are there so that we need to do in the second exercise it depends on nth term of an ap and third exercise is sum of first n terms of an ap so first three exercises we need to do that means all the exercises we need to do it means that no deletion is there from this lesson come to the sixth lesson triangles 6.1 here we need to understand congruent and similar figures and exercise 6.2 depends on basic proportionality theorem and its converse and the third exercise has the similarity criteria Okay, it depends on this. So, we need to do all the three exercises and exercise 6.4, it's about area of similar triangles. And exercise 6.5, Pythagoras theorem is there, converse of Pythagoras theorem is there and one more theorem is there. Similar triangles formed by altitude of right triangle. This, all the three theorems are deleted and depending on this, exercise 6.5 is there. This is also deleted so this exercise and this 6.4 is deleted from the portion okay come to the seventh lesson coordinate geometry 
exercise 7.1 which has distance formula exercise 7.2 which has section formula right so these two exercises we need to do but exercise 7.3 is about areas of triangle it is deleted lesson number 8 introduction to trigonometry here exercise 8.1 it is about trigonometric ratios exercise 8.2 trigonometric ratios of some specific angles exercise 8.4 it has relationship between ratios proofs and application of sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1 only simple identities will be asked here exercise 8.3 is fully deleted and it is about trigonometric ratios of complementary angles that means complementary angles fully they have deleted even if one or two questions are there in exercise 8.4 about the complementary angles those questions we will remove from the syllabus or we will not do those questions correct lesson number 9 some applications of trigonometry here only one exercise is there 9.1 it's about height and distances and in this one angle of elevation and angle of depressions are there very simple angles we need to remember it is about 45 degree 60 degree and uh, 30 degree angles okay and no deletion is there from this lesson come to the 10th lesson circles here 10.1 tangents to a circle so only one tangent to the circle and here in exercise 10.2 number of tangents from a point on a circle so both the exercises we need to do and no deletion is there in this lesson lesson 11 constructions full lesson they have deleted from the portion see one lesson got reduced from the portion right come to the next one 12th lesson areas related to circles exercise 12.1 it has problems based on areas and perimeter or circumference of plane figures and the second exercise areas of sector and segments of a circle only these two exercises we need to do and the third exercise which is about areas of combinations of plane figures this is deleted from the portion third one quite the bigger exercise it is they have deleted it exercise uh, not exercise it's lesson number 13 surface areas and volumes here first exercise 13.1 it has surface areas of combination of any two of the following any two of the following they are saying so it might be cube cubes cuboids right circular cylinders and cones spheres and hemisphere so any two combinations will be there to find out the surface areas and in the second exercise it's about the volume so out of all these solids you need to find out the volume right they will do the combination of two solids and the third exercise it is about areas of combinations of plane figures this is deleted and the fourth exercise it's about the frustum of a cone that is also deleted come to the next one lesson number 14 statistics here first exercise is about mean in this mean there are three methods one is the direct method second is assumed mean method third is step deviation method so all the three methods we need to learn and second exercise is about mode of the data third exercise is about median of the data so all these three exercises we need to learn but the fourth exercise is about graph cumulative frequency graph we call it as ogives this exercise is deleted come to the last lesson 15th one which is probability here only one exercise is there we need to do the full exercise that means all the sums we need to do in this one classical probability is there simple problems on finding the probability of an event so we we need to do the whole exercise and no portion is deleted from this lesson right now i explained you this syllabus in depth and which all topics are 
deleted from the syllabus correct now let us see in short see here first lesson real numbers 1.2 1.3 exercise we need to do 1.1 1.4 is deleted from the second lesson polynomials 2.1 2.2 will do 2.3 we will not do correct from the third lesson we are going to do 3.1 3.2 3.3 3.4 but the cross multiplication method sums we are not going to do and exercise 3.6 we are not going to do correct in the from the fourth lesson quadratic equations first exercise second third fourth all exercises will do but wherever completing the square method is there it is there in exercise 4.3 that we are going to remove we are not going to do that one correct now here from the fifth lesson first exercise second exercise third exercise will do that means no deletion is there from the sixth lesson triangles first second and third exercise will do but fourth and fifth exercise we will not do right from the seventh lesson coordinate geometry first and second exercise will do third exercise we will not do from the eighth lesson introduction to trigonometry first second and fourth exercise will do but the third exercise will leave from the ninth lesson some applications of trigonometry only one exercise we are going to do all the sums no deletion is there from the tenth lesson circles first exercise second exercise third exercise will do that means no deletion is there and eleventh lesson construction remember construction this full lesson is deleted so it's good for you now from the 12th lesson areas related to circles first and second exercise will do third one is deleted from the 13th lesson surface areas and volumes first exercise second exercise will do third and fourth is deleted from statistics first exercise second and third will do fourth exercise is deleted and from probability no deletion is there that means that full exercise we are going to do i hope all of you understood what i have explained you in this video thanks for watching it